Jeff Wilson here with Tanner Bozer, uh, Bulldozer. Man, congratulations on the win in your last fight. What a knockout. Uh, how did that feel? Obviously, it felt good. It was the best case scenario possible. So, I mean, now I'm, it's long since worn off. I'm just waiting to get back to training. And you're sitting in, in Edmonton right now. You're on a certain level of quarantine that you've got to wait for, and, uh, and you're done that fairly soon? I'm done on Sunday night. So the way the government's making it is so if you return from out of country, they're very strict, and you have to quarantine alone at your place of residence for 14 days. Even if you got a coronavirus test and it came back negative, you can still get charges and jail time if you don't heed the quarantine. So that's kind of cool. It means they can just give you timeouts now, even when it doesn't make any fucking sense. That must be frustrating. As you continue to ramp up in fights, it, it seems like I don't think this is going to go away. Maybe the timing will change a little bit or what that means. That can't be easy. and It must be tough to celebrate a win or at least get back to training when you're probably... I don't think you carried any damage in that fight, and you're probably like, well, now you're just losing time in the gym. That must be frustrating. I would take one week off anyway, but I would have liked to get back this week a bit, but that's okay. I'll get back Monday. But it, it'd be nice to go around the gym, not necessarily training, but, I mean, those are, those are my people, you know. Sucks to uh, not be able to just go there. I'm sure uh, they'll still uh, remember the win when you do get there this week coming up. Uh, talk to me a little bit about the call out with Maurice Green, my friend. Uh, I, I heard that at the interview after. You were a little bit high on the adrenaline, but uh, it sounded uh, it sounded like uh, you guys had a conversation at the pool. Yeah, yeah. He came up to me and uh, introduced himself. He's like, "Hey, uh, Maurice Green." I'm like, "I know who you are." He's like, "Oh yeah, we we're, uh, we're supposed to fight, right?" I'm like. Well, you turned me down, so, I mean, kind of. <laughs> weird, like, and he's going, yeah, yeah, I wanted a top 15 guy, you know, and then I fought that uh, it's, uh, Sergei Pavlovich. I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah, I got hits hard. <laughs> that looked like it. Like, he's just a weird dude. There's nothing. He's a nice guy. He was a very nice guy, but he did turn me down last August because he wanted a better opponent. And, I missed out on what could have been one extra payday. So he is a nice guy, but fuck him for that. Are your, are your management guys talking? Do you think this will happen? I don't know. It's just whoever UFC decides to offer, I will accept any fight. I don't really have a choice. So I hope it's more East Green. I, that would be a good fight. It makes sense. We both came off a win on the same card. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I think people were receptive to it after I called him out and after he accepted it people kind of got excited, so it would make sense for them to do it. But if not, fine, I'll fight whoever. I, I love that, man, and we know that, and that's it straight up Edmonton stuff. Just one of the questions that I was thinking about, I've always been impressed with your footwork, your movement, but your accuracy uh, this time around seemed – was that something you've always you've always had and, and, and kept honing it, or did you do anything in training to improve the, your accuracy? Because it was, it was very accurate, my friend. It was, it was fun to watch, and this – back fist down at the end i don't think i'd ever seen that before and uh, neither did michael bisman by the way he, you were taking him back to him getting himself getting knocked out but uh it was innovative and uh, it was it was nice to see on a, on, on, a, on a heavyweight like you my coach like kedro noda we do a lot of striking drills and i'm i don't know if we do things specifically working on accuracy i mean i guess we have some drills for that some kind of Sometimes we hang a piece of paper from the roof. I guess that's kind of one of those. But it's just um, – it was just staying sharp and, and throwing the combo, which wasn't like an intentional combo. People think that, like, oh, man, you must have practiced that combo. No, I don't even remember. I had to watch to remember what I did. I just was hitting him in the face. You know what I mean? That's all. My brain was filling in the gaps of how I wanted to do it. It just fitted in that – way that it was used to which happened to look like a nice combo because i practiced so many times and we can flow so well that it just came naturally i didn't have to cognitively you know think about that combo uh or 
to be accurate with that combo, I saw he was hurt and my brain just filled in the gaps. It's an amazing knockout. Congratulations on it. Uh, it really uh, throttles you upward um, in, in the division. We were going through some, some old walkout songs and uh, we we're just curious. We saw you come out with the song of man by Phil Collins and, and on my way by Phil Collins from brother bear and animated movies. Just curious if, uh, if, if you're a big fan of Phil Collins or, or those songs, or how, how did you decide to pick those songs and a few of your walkout songs that you had? When I was a kid, I had both of those soundtracks, uh, like on cassette, I think, the Tarzan and the Brother Bear soundtracks. But I, like, I do like Phil Collins, uh, and I, like, I don't like angry music when I'm going into fight. So those, uh, those were apl applicable songs to those fights to me. Lyrically, anyway, um, uh, On My Way was in Australia, and um, Son of Man was my UFC debut. So if you listen to them or look at the lyrics, maybe you can understand how that made sense to me, and maybe not. But yeah, I like Phil Collins. I don't watch very much. I don't like watch Disney movies really anymore or anything. I'm, I'm old, and I don't have any kids, you know. Now and then, I'll, I'll get suckered into watching something with the girlfriend's daughter, but... Um, that's not 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 often am I like seeking out uh, songs from cartoons. They just happen to have them that I liked. Thanks for the clarification, my friend. Uh, they're still great songs. I mean, I know you're you're probably you would have loved to been on Yaz Island, and I don't know if there's still a chance to get there. There might be. I'm not sure. I think there is a chance. Uh, it would be to fill in if somebody was hurt. I actually almost fought on this card this weekend but I couldn't because of the quarantine. I couldn't leave Canada. Um, uh, Mick Maynard called me and asked if I'd fight uh, Marcin Tabura. I was on Canada Day, so I was like drunk. I said I'd, I'd of course have to clear this with my coaches and stuff, but yes, I, like, I'd do it, but I don't think that I can leave Canada. Like I would definitely get arrested at the border, you know, at the airport. So he said that they would try to get me clearance, and if they did, then, then I would, probably get that fight but um they ended up signing Maxim Grishin instead so it was probably just way easier to sign someone than to try and deal with this idiot government and trying to get me clearance even though I have negative results for a COVID test. Yeah I would have loved to seen that fight I think that's a great fight for both of you and uh, I think you win that fight and I think it, it, it's, a, it's a hard one. Yeah, oh yeah Marcin Tabura is a hard fight he's really yeah. good yeah. he's not, not afraid to smother if he can you know if he can get a hold of you he'll he is not scared to have a snoozer to win, and that's smart. I mean, winning's the best thing you can possibly do. So, uh, yeah, that would have been a good fight. I would have, I would have done it. It would have worked out well, but that's okay. So I'm saying there is still a possibility I could end up on one of these other cards in a similar circumstance when I'm off quarantine. Uh, but, I mean, obviously I don't know. Got to get back in the gym now because I've been sitting around for two weeks, so I'm kind of fat again, so I got to get myself back up. Tanner, uh, you, you made Canada proud uh, a couple weeks ago when you had that knockout. And, uh, man, I was screaming at the TV when I saw it, and uh, I loved it so much. So excited to see you continue to move up in the ranks and looking forward to uh, talking to you soon before your next fight. All right, yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it.